China boasts abundant marine resources, with over 18,000 kilometers of coastline, more than 300 million square kilometers of maritime territory, and 30 million square kilometers of inland waters. In China's long history of several thousand years, it has enjoyed not only its highly developed inland Loess culture, but also a brilliant maritime civilization. The ancient Chinese were the first to invent and the first to use both the compass and watertight bulkheads, thus leading the world in important maritime technologies. In addition, the Marine Silk Road, a sea passage that in ancient times linked various regions and civilizations, made great contributions to the advancement of human society. China is rich in underwater cultural heritage. According to incomplete statistics, in China's ocean territory, there are at least 2,000 shipwrecks. On October the 20th, 1989, the Chinese government, deeply concerned about the conservation of the nation's underwater cultural heritage, formally promulgated and subsequently implemented regulations of the People's Republic of China concerning the administration of the work for the protection of underwater cultural relics. This law made China one of the world's first nations to enact a special law for underwater cultural heritage. China initiated its first underwater archaeological excavations during the 1980s, and the government quickly established related institutes, trained the nation's first underwater archaeological professionals, carried out surveys of its underwater cultural relics, and excavated a number of important shipwreck sites. That first professional underwater archaeological team produced a number of impressive initial results, including the excavation of significant cultural relics. In recent years, China has been strengthening and developing its underwater cultural heritage management system further under the United Nations Convention on the Protection of Underwater Cultural Heritage and other international conventions. This has led to the implementation of a more standardized and law-based approach to underwater cultural heritage protection and research. China's underwater cultural heritage institutions are being continuously improved. In September 2009, with the support of the State Administration of Cultural Heritage, the Chinese Academy of Cultural Heritage established the National Conservation Center for Underwater Cultural Heritage. The goal of this new body is to comprehensively organize, coordinate, plan, and implement the survey, exploration, research, protection, and utilization of the nation's underwater cultural heritage. This will be done through four conservation offices set up in Zhejiang, Shandong, Hubei, and Fujian. After 20 years of development, China's underwater cultural heritage conservation has been developed from simple underwater archaeology to a full range of conservation strategies, including archaeology, protection, restoration, and interpretation. This cause of protecting China's underwater cultural heritage was previously in the charge of a single department, but now it is a joint collaboration between different departments. As a result, the scope of protection has been expanded from offshore shallow waters to inland and distant oceans. In addition, the country has discovered many new locations of underwater cultural heritage sites through surveys in offshore waters of 11 coastal provinces, the Paracel Islands, and waters of Anhui, Jiangxi, and other inland provinces. Meanwhile, China has implemented the integral salvage of the Guangdong Nanhai No. 1, salvage and conservation of Hubei's Zhongshan warship, and the underwater excavation and protection of Hainan Paracel's Hua Guangjiao No. 1, Fujian Pingtan's Wanjiao No. 1, and Guangdong's Nanao No. 1.
The construction of Chongqing's Bai He Liang Underwater Museum, the overall salvage of the Nanhai No. 1, and the water environment preservation method implemented for the shipwrecks represent the most advanced level in this field in the world, marking breakthrough innovations in concepts, methods, and technology. Over the past few decades, Chinese underwater archaeologists have formulated a set of standard procedures for their underwater operations. As well as all this, underwater archaeological technology has been significantly improved. A considerable amount of advanced equipment is now being used in underwater cultural heritage survey and excavation work, including the side scan sonar, the sub bottom profiler, the underwater wireless intercom system, the real time differential positioning system, the multi beam sonar, the ultra short baseline USBL positioning system, and remote operated vehicles. Advances in modern technology have also been adopted to scientifically protect cultural relics that have already been excavated. It is pleasing to know that with the development of cultural heritage conservation in China, the promotion and protection of underwater cultural heritage conservation has gone hand in hand with public education. Today, public awareness of underwater cultural heritage is now much more common. In accordance with the unified arrangements of the State Administration of Cultural Heritage, China has conducted comprehensive in-depth surveys on underwater cultural heritage, laying a solid foundation for the systematic and planned development of underwater heritage conservation. At the same time, officials are fully aware of the many difficulties encountered in underwater cultural heritage conservation. During the nation's rapid economic development, a great number of water-related infrastructure projects have required simultaneous underwater heritage survey, exploration and protection. Unfortunately, underwater shipwreck sites far from land are constant targets of smuggling activity and many are destroyed as a result of this. Establishing a sustainable system for funding and personnel training development is an urgent matter in this vital area of China's national heritage. The State Administration of Cultural Heritage has recently developed a mid- and long-term plan for the conservation of the nation's underwater cultural heritage. Over a period of about five years, an underwater cultural heritage conservation system will be established based on laws and regulations, capable teams, leading technology and a solid administrative foundation. Priority will be given to coastal waters but with due consideration given to inland waters as well, with state regulations the leading factor. We believe that the healthy development of underwater cultural heritage conservation in China will enlist the interest and support of the international community. As a country with an ancient civilization, China is certain to make an even greater contribution to the conservation of mankind's common and precious underwater cultural heritage.